Well, good afternoon. How is everyone today? Excited? Excited? We're going to learn some dates here today. Well, good afternoon. My name is Aaron Popke, Director of Public Affairs for the Packers, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all here as we gather again to talk about the draft, be excited about the draft, and learn the dates of the draft today. So uh, we have a lot to be excited about here at the Packers and everywhere in Greater Green Bay and the state of Wisconsin as we look forward to this event in spring of 2025. And as all of you know, a lot of effort has been expended to get us here. And of course, we've got a lot more effort in front of us, effort that we're all going to be happy to engage in. And many of you have played a part. So we thank you for that support and your continued support as we move ahead to spring of 2025. And I want to especially thank uh, our community partners, uh, certainly right here around us, Green Bay, Ashwaubenon, Brown County. Their support and, and planning that has gone underway already uh, has been great. And uh, we're, we're very thankful for that. We've got representatives of those entities here today. So thanks for being here today. And also our partners at the state level, including our state representatives and senators here today. Thanks for being here. And thanks for your support in Madison and right here in northeastern Wisconsin. And we also want to thank, of course, um, at the state level, Governor Evers, his team, various membership there, as well as uh, the, the tourism team for the state. Uh, they have been great. And our partners at the Green Bay Brown County Professional Football Stadium District, they've been instrumental along the way for all the help and, and guidance in uh, developing this stadium and everything that it has become and how it will shine brightly uh, as part of the 2025 NFL Draft. And there are more out there, out here in front of us, but out there in the community, of course, who will be joining the team. Whether it be on organizing committees, working staff, or volunteers, you are out there and, and you will be called. And as we move along, the opportunities to get involved will be more detailed and we'll make those available and share those opportunities. And as we continue planning, we have put together a video that further shares our excitement for 2025. So uh, at this moment, I direct your attention to the screen. Welcome to the NFL Draft. Go Pack, go! Go Pack, go! The Green Bay Packers select. Green Bay Packers select. Green Bay Packers select. Ray Walker. Eric Stoke. Go Pack, go! Jordan Love. Sean Gary. Jair Alexander. One of the things that distinguishes us from all the other cities is our history and tradition and the connection between the city, the fans, and our team. The 2025 NFL Draft selects Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right. Well, that's fun. I mean, we've seen some of those images, and of course, the commissioner uh, talking about that when he was here in August. But that uh, just watching it again is fun; uh, gets uh, gets everyone excited. And now, regarding that draft, and to announce the draft dates, we are very, very honored to have the NFL Senior Director of Events Business Strategy, Alex Brook, here today to tell us the big news. Alex. Thank you, Aaron. Great to be with you all today. On behalf of the NFL, I'm thrilled to announce that the 2025 NFL Draft presented by Bud Light will take place from April 24th to the 26th, right here in Green Bay, inside and around historic Lambeau Field and Titletown. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As Aaron mentioned, with the help of, the, of great partners here locally, the Packers, Discover Green Bay, and other local organizations, our prospects and fans will experience an amazing week-long celebration that truly shows off this city and the entire state of Wisconsin. 
Green Bay is going to host a slate of different draft activities, including a variety of community events and the NFL draft experience, where fans and families will have an opportunity to participate in football-themed events, exhibits, musical performances, autograph sessions, and see the Vince Lombardi Trophy up close and personal. The NFL Draft has become one of the biggest, most anticipated events in the sports calendar, and it brings real, tangible, positive economic impact to the host communities. Equally as important, and one of the secret sauces to this event, is the unbridled optimism across all 32 teams and the fan bases every April as we welcome the next generation of stars to the NFL family. Since taking the draft on the road in 2015, more than 2.2 million fans have attended draft festivities in person. This past April in Kansas City, we had 312,000 fans come on site, another 54 million watched at home on ESPN, ABC, and the NFL Network. And plans are well underway in 2024. We'll be up the road, division rival uh, in Detroit, uh, this coming April. We're really excited about that, but we're thrilled to be here talking today about bringing this major event to Green Bay, where we'll provide a unique backdrop and a welcome for so many fans who have wanted to make the journey here and a warm welcome back for a lot of the fans who know it and love it well. There's no better football destination than Titletown, with its rich heritage and unique connection to so many fans across the country in so many places and we are already looking forward to welcoming our prospects, their families, and our fans for an amazing experience in 2025. Turn it back over to Aaron now. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for being here today for that announcement. And did I see a number of you uh, get your calendars out? Circle some dates with ink. We can, uh, we can step up our planning now. And speaking of planning and speaking of the draft and, and the effort to get it here, uh, next up I'd like to invite Packers President CEO Mark Murphy, our chief cheerleader in landing this thing. Mark. Thank you, Aaron. I don't think I've ever been called a cheerleader, but I'll take that, take that as a compliment. So uh, welcome, everyone, but also thank you all for coming out. We really uh, do appreciate it. Really exciting news, obviously, for not only the Packers organization, but the entire Green Bay community. I also do want to give special thanks to, to Alex uh, and also uh, Roger Goodell and Peter O'Reilly for having the confidence in Green Bay that, uh, that we can host an event of this size. Uh, it's it's going to be, uh, it's just exciting to be here to, officially announced the dates of the draft. You know, this is something that uh, we've really been working on for a long time. When, when did they first take the draft on the road? It was like 2015. So, you know, eight years we've been working. Every year, Green Bay wants a draft. And uh, I really started to wonder whether we would get it. But uh, uh, again, the confidence that uh, Roger and uh, Peter had in Green Bay, and obviously, you know, Aaron mentioned it, you know, the history and tradition here, of course, uh, the iconic Lambeau Field. Um, we're by far the smallest market that will host an NFL draft, uh, but I will say we're the best market, and we care the most about football, and we have, nobody has Lambeau Field or Titletown, so it's going to be really special. And, uh, you know, the other thing I would say, uh, as we've mentioned, we're really excited about the impact of this event, um, which we attract, not going to probably have as many people as went to Detroit, but we'll get, we expect it'll be 250,000. Um, the economic impact statewide will be 94 million. Here in Green, Green Bay will be 20, but the 94 million, to put it in perspective, it's over six times the impact of a normal Packer home game. So. It's significant. It'll be the largest event that's, we believe it is, the largest event that'll ever be held in Green Bay. So really exciting for us. Uh, for us. We know we have a lot of work to do to get ready for it, but uh, uh, really excited about it. You know, in addition to the economic impact, the publicity that this will bring to not only Green Bay, but all of Wisconsin, it's going to be like a, a three-day commercial about, we all know how great it is here, and all the great things that we have in Wisconsin, but now you're going to have that, not, not just across the country, uh, the draft is really followed internationally, and 
uh, it's going to be tremendous uh, for our community. <clears throat> and we really think that throughout the whole process, our community will really shine. As I mentioned before, given our history and tradition, we think Green Bay is a perfect location to highlight the rich history also of the NFL and celebrate the league's most popular off-season event. All right, for those of you keeping track, I think Aaron mentioned some of you wrote down the date. Uh, <clears throat> April 24th, 2025 is one year, five months, and 18 days from today. <clears throat> A total of 535 days or 12,840 hours. So you, we are obviously very excited to get it there. <clears throat> so the countdown's on. We have an awful lot of work ahead of us uh, over the time we have remaining. But we have a great team working on us uh, and led by Gabrielle Dow. Gabrielle, stand up. She's done an excellent job for this. <clears throat> Other key members of the team include Megan Roberson, uh, Candy Goltz, uh, Aaron Popke, uh, Anna Jacobson, Krista Jorgensen, relatively new, just uh, she runs our pro shop. Uh, also in the pro shop, Jen Pertzborn, uh, Seth. Seth Hatherley and many, many others. <clears throat> we still have a lot of work ahead of us. I think we all realize that. Uh, but it will be an incredible experience uh, that uh, none of us will forget. I also would also like to thank our senior staff, uh, who has been so, so supportive of this event. Uh, Ed Policy, Russ Ball, Craig Benzel, <clears throat> Doug Collins, Nicole Ledvina, Maureen Smith, and Jason Wallers. Also, Paul Banyol has been, had been involved. Uh, of course, he just retired, but uh, he's been instrumental, was instrumental also in kind of the planning to put this together. Also, uh, in terms of our board, uh, our Packers Executive Committee has been uh, very, very supportive. I uh, want to particularly uh, give recognition to our lead director, Susan Finko. Uh, we would not be able to, to have this if we didn't have the support of uh, our Executive Committee. Another great part of the team is our host committee, uh, led by Chair Mike Haddad and our Vice Chair Kate Burgess. They've been tremendous uh, working with them. Other committee members include uh, Nancy Am Armbrust and George Kuntz. Uh, I'd also obviously want to give special thanks to our donors. We have green donors and gold donors, very fitting. Uh, green donors, donors uh, Delaware North, our concessionaire has uh, been great to work with. Kohler Company, uh, just obviously Kohler just stands for class and everything they do, and it's great to have them on board. Uh, the Myron Construction Company, I think everything you look around here, it's all built by Myron. They do a great job. Uh, the Oneida Casino, great, great sponsor, great partners of ours, and uh, really appreciate them stepping forward. In terms of the gold donors, uh, Associated Bank, uh, the Aarons Company, Bell & Health, uh, Bellmark, uh, Bergstrom, Festival Foods, Green Bay Packaging, O oh Snap Pickling Company, and Schneider. It's great to have all of them on board as key community supporters of this event. I also want to give special thanks to Discover Green Bay, uh, led by Brad Toll. Brad's done an outstanding job. Where is Brad? I got it. There he is. And uh, the new visitor center will be perfect for, uh, for this draft. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, he's been a key teammate. And uh, he's been really helpful in bringing this event to life. At the state level, uh, Governor Evers has been very, very helpful and supportive, and other members of the legislature as well. Parties have come together on this. Turns out politicians, uh, Republicans, and Democrats like drafts. <laughs> uh, we're also appreciative of the many, com many community ma members, that uh, partners we have, especially Green Bay. I think uh, Eric Gingrich is here. He's been uh, very supportive. Of course, Ash Wabanon with uh, Mary Kardowski and uh, Troy Streckenbach from Brown, uh, Brown County have uh, been very, very helpful. Uh, I think Aaron also mentioned the uh, Brown County Stadium District Board. Pat Webb uh, has been very supportive. This will bring in a lot of money for the uh, Stadium District Board, so we like that. Uh, no. So the countdown is officially on, that the dates have been announced, and we can't wait to continue planning and building excitement for this once-in-a-generation opportunity. Thanks again. Well, thank you, Mark, Alex, and really, thanks to all of you for being here today. A number of supporters of the event, uh, 
many of us will, as I said, get involved, and there'll be lots of opportunities to get involved. So thank you for what you've done now, what you will be doing. I know we've got our friends from the hotels in the area, uh, direct marketing organizations from across the state, and of course, all the other communities in, in Greater Green Bay and Brown County that are here today that are going to help roll out that collective red carpet and welcome mat and make all of those 200,000 plus visitors over the course of that week really feel welcome in our area and take advantage of those visitors to further tell the story of what Green Bay, Northeastern Wisconsin, and the state of Wisconsin have to offer as a place to live, work, and play and celebrate the draft. And that concludes our remarks here at the podium. Thanks again for coming. Feel free to stick around and commiserate with each other and uh, share your calendars, make some further plans for April of 2025. So thanks again for coming. Have a great rest of the day.